Remember you do each of these points about 10 to 30 seconds each and both sides of the body except for the ones that are on the center which would be the governing vessel that we're going to be looking at. We don't have any conception vessel. All the rest would be on one side and then you would do on the other side. And you can do all the points on one side before you go to the other side. Today we're going to talk about something that's really, really important to learn how to do on your horses and that's called the immune boost points. We used to call them wellness points. Um, the reason that they're so powerful is it affects most of the meridians and how the horse works from the inside out without you having to know a lot of that stuff. So they're very, very powerful. Yeah. Um, so we're going to be going through every one of the points to have you learn where they're located and how to do it. And I like to use these as a weekly, bi-weekly boost to their immune system to help them. Yeah, so these are really powerful if you have uh, hormonal issues going on, mm -hmm. if you have anything internally like maybe a endocrine imbalance, things like that, the more items that are not necessarily physical or structural, we're going more into the internal components of it and just to really help give that body, those internal organs, a nice boost and to help them balance as, as much as we can. Start working correctly again. Yep, absolutely. We're now going to go over the points that we're going to use for the horse immune boost or that we used to call them the wellness points. Now remember you do each of these points about 10 to 30 seconds each and both sides of the body except for the ones that are on the center which would be the governing vessel that we're going to be looking at. We don't have any conception vessel. All the rest would be on one side and then you would do on the other side. And you can do all the points on one side before you go to the other side. And again using this as, as a preventative is really a great way to use these points. So um, once to twice a week is all you really need. GV26, one of our really most important points is located on the midline of the horse, located between, above the lip, between the nostrils. Used quite often for when we have shock issues, um, facial paralysis, um, issues with intestinals, um, and also um, sometimes for calming, and quite often for calming. And I love using this with the red and also the green light as well. So turn on your light, go between the nostrils, you'll find this deep hole. Put it here, I like to hang on to a halter or something while we do it because they tend to want to turn their head away. And just 10 to 30 seconds, GV26, which is governing vessel 26. Large intestine 16. It's located in front of the shoulder. It's used for shoulder issues, elbow issues. It's also used for chronic issues related to blood and coughing. Its location is pretty easy because, of course, it's in the groove in front of the front shoulder, in front of the front shoulder, but the easiest way I do is I take my fingers and put them alongside the juggler groove. So this would be the esophagus in the groove. Run my thumb here, and when my thumb falls into a hole, I find large intestine 16. Large, large intestine 11, used a lot for fever issues, infl inflamed itchy skin, diarrhea, heat cycles, and forelimb issues. It's located on the front leg, in front of or cranial to the proximal tuberosity. One of the easiest ways I find is I pick up the leg, And you'll notice this deep hole in the center of the leg and the crease of the, of the shoulder. When I put the leg back down, that comes forward and that is the location for large intestine 11. Bladder 11. 
also no, located on the bladder meridian line, is one we use quite often for neck stiffness, arthritis, bone issues. Um, location is that of, you can find, you feel above the scapula, it goes around, if you go forward, it falls into a hole right before it, and it's in line with the second intercostal space, which means the space in between the second and third rib. So if you just, I like to start at the back of the scapula, which you find is bladder 13, come around, it falls into a hole in the front of it, that's bladder 11, you put the light there, and you wait 30, 10 to 30 seconds, and this is also another good point for like, you are getting a reaction to this right away, for coughing, uh, any kind of uh, heaves, fever, and again, like I said, neck and arthritis issues. Bladder 13, also known as an association point for the lung meridian. It's a very important point because it really affects all of your lung issues like coughing, heaves, bronchitis, uh, respiratory issues. And the other thing is it does a really good job on the four limb area. It's located in the eighth intercostal space in line with the shelf of the ribs. So I basically start at the shelf of the ribs. You can feel the ribs here slide forward. It falls into a deep hole right behind the scapula. That's bladder 13, your lung association point. Bladder 23, another very important point because it is the association point for the kidney. In, uh, as we all know, kidney is very good for um, lower back pain, fatigue, um, immune, immune systems. So to find it, I run my hand along the last rib till I, along the shelf of the rib till I find the last rib. And then I also look for the point of the hip coming forward and go halfway in between, you'll find a deep hole. Put your light on that, and that's bladder 23. All right, Bakwe, also known as Baha, it is on the governing vessel and it is the master point or the meeting point of 100 meridians. It's one we use quite often with connections of other um, meridians. It's also used for hind limb disorder, heat stroke, stroke, gastrointestinal issues, and also reproductive dis, uh, issues. Its location is that, I've, as I said, on the midline. The easiest way to find it is run your hand down the midline until you find the end of the lumbar vertebra. Then you're gonna find a kind of a squishy area to when you hit the first lump, uh, sacral lump. Halfway between those two is the Bach way. As long as you get yourself in the middle between on the midline, you're going to find the Bach way itself. Bladder 40, located on the back part of the horse, on the back midline of the leg, right along with the, the crease of the muscle towards the back. It's used for a lot of things like lumbar issues, related issues, lower back pain, muscle spasms. Um, we also use it for like heat stroke. Um, exhaustion, skin issues, leg and knee pains. It has lots of use, uses. So one of the ways I find it is just come down the middle of the leg where it dips and then it changes is one way to find it. If you do want to pick up the leg, you can pick up the leg and it'll make a deep hole right here. That's an easy way to find it. And that would be bladder 40. Bladder 60, another one of those points that we use quite a bit. It is used for pain issues. Uh, a lot of times we say it's like giving an aspirin to the horse. So it's good for back pain, pain issues itself, hock pain, stiffness issues with uh, cervical pain as well. So anything that's related to pain, we use with, with the bladder 60. Its location is that of very simply, the deep hole that is above the hock so if you just take your hand, put it over and your thumb, it falls into a deep hole. Run your, hand, your light down right above the, it's in the soft part above the, the bone itself. You'll find bladder 60. Kidney three. 
It's used a lot for arthritis issues in the back of the limb or in to the uh, arthritis of the tarsal joint itself, um, issues with cycles on horses, um, restores immune system, and also is a lot for back pain itself. It's located on the medial side in the deep hole of the hock. You have the hole on the back foot, on the back leg, which is bladder 60 straight across from it is third is kidney three. One way of doing this is you just put your thumb on this side and put your finger on the inside. There's my finger is right here. And it's straight across. And if you pick up the leg, it's really gonna make a deep hole. That is kidney three. Gallbladder 34. This point is located on the hind leg. It's used a lot for um, weak tendons, ligaments, hind end weaknesses, muscle atrophy, and also stifle issues. And that would be because it is located near the stifle. The easiest way to find this is I just take my in hand, put the, my fingers on the inside, my thumb on the outside, where the crease of the muscle is and above the stifle, and come around and I'll feel, I'll feel the back side of the stifle itself or the caudal side of it. And put my light here for gallbladder 34. Stomach 36, master point for the stomach. It's used a lot for, of course, stomach issues, digestion, chronic illnesses, spleen issues. Also used very well for the immune system and calms the emotional parts of the horses. Um, it's one we use quite often in uh, lots of issues like um, colic and different issues for the stomach. Its location is on the lateral side of the leg or the outside of the leg. One finger off the midline, about four fingers down from the stifle. So stomach 36, one finger off, four fingers down. You'll find a hole right in the center of that muscle. Liver, liver 3. It's uh, one of the points I use a lot for issues with um, cycle issues, colic issues, eye pain, forelimb pain, and uh, just general hock pain itself. It's located on the, on the um, lateral side of the leg, one third of the way down the center groove of the hock itself. So you, you get yourself where you feel the center groove you go halfway, go slightly up above it, you find liver three. You do both sides of the body, and it doesn't take you that long to do this once you start to learn them, but it's one of the most powerful things you can do for your animal. When we're looking at the carotid artery on a horse, we're referring to the area where the vein artery and nerve run up the side of the esophagus up to the neck itself. And I typically like to put it, you can either put it like a couple fingers below the jaw or I bring it down to where it's just in front of the shoulder in this area.